Rampant news. We're back and we're ranking the 50 states, all 50 states of the United States of these Americas. We start with number 50, Kentucky. If you want to be poor and dirty, Kentucky is the place for you. Number 49, Oregon. Put a gauge in your ears, tits, and penis and disappoint your parents. If you're into that, that's like your main goal in life. Go right, knock yourself out. Number 48, Rhode Island. Give it to China. Just give it to China. So when they take over, they can't say we never did anything nice for them. And don't even, don't wait for China to ask for any land. We should go to them and say, Rhode Island. There you go. Number 47, West Virginia, a state full of homeless people that live in houses. Fun fact, nobody there has an IQ over 70. Uh, number 46, Utah. The first things that come to mind are mountains, desert, nuclear waste, and killing yourself. Those are, that's most of the things that uh, Utah has to offer. Number 45, North Carolina, defined by the Charlottesville riots. This state is mostly known for its racism. Number 44, South Carolina, right below North Carolina. Number 43, Nebraska, meth, wind, and corn. Uh, number 42, New Jersey, a state full of Italians that think mob movies were the peak of cinema. Just don't go to New Jersey. Just, you'd be swimming in grease balls. Number 41, Nevada. Prostitution is illegal, and you can die by running out of gas. Uh, number 40, Oklahoma. Very boring. An example of what would have happened if we didn't do Manifest Destiny. I mean, you drive through Oklahoma and you just say, we've given all this land back to the Native Americans, and what have they done with it? Almost nothing. I don't know if they're waiting on doing something. I don't know if they have plans to do something. But I would get, you know, if I got, if I was given tons of land, I'd get to moving. I'd get a little civilization going. Anyway, 39, Alabama. Have sex with your cousin and be retarded while sweating in December. That's the whole state. That's what defines every single day for them. Uh, 38, Vermont. I think they're mostly known for wearing North Faces and getting addicted to prescription pills. They love Vicodins, those crazy, crazy cocksuckers. 37, Arkansas. Uh, it's like if the underside of a ball sack was a state. Because it's like a little swampy, and you're never quite comfortable there, and it gets a little too hot in the summer. And, uh, it smells a little bit. Yeah, it's almost, almost a perfect metaphor. Uh, number 36, Kansas. Most of Kansas City is in Missouri. Uh, and the rest of the state is wheat fields and heroin users. Number 35, Idaho. Now, with Idaho, I did a good deal of research, and it turns out nobody lives there. There's, there's literally not one person living in Idaho right now. Not one. And listen, I really, I hit the books. I hit the books trying to find, and I just kept reading pages and pages and pages about how nobody lives there. Uh, number 34, Connecticut. Uh, get divorced and then post selfies on Facebook so people think you're doing better than the, the other one. That's what Connecticut's all about. You go there, you get married, um, and there's no love in at the wedding in Connecticut. There's no love. And then... You get divorced after 10 years, and then, yeah, you just keep posting photos of you, like, on boats and shit uh, to make the other one feel bad. Anyway, uh, number 33, Wyoming, uh, more buffalo than people. 
endangered my ass. Number 32, Indiana. If you are an Indian and you live in the United States of America, please move to Indiana. I, I just, I think it would be hilarious if there was like a bunch of confusion about like the, the origins of this, the state's name and like other people go there and they're like, oh, it must be called Indiana because it's like a little state for Indians. I just think that'd be funny. Or maybe we could have an Indian off where like Indians fight the Native Americans and then whoever wins, that's who we'll call Indians. I don't know. I'm just bullshitting. 32, Indiana, it should be lower. Like, But like I said, I do feel like it has so much potential because of the name. And then you just, you know, bring a bunch of Indians in there. And then we've got like our own little, uh, call it little, in, little, uh, little India. Anyway, number 31, New Hampshire. Uh, they still have segregation there. I mean, every, everybody there seems like cool with it, but not cool with me. Um, so if somebody wants to get on New Hampshire for, for that, if you could, uh, you know, DM New Hampshire and say, cut it out with the, with the segregation. Number 30, Georgia. Um, it's Alabama just plus Atlanta. Number 29, Montana. I like Montana because it's like the Wild West, but you can also die from boredom. Number 28, Minnesota. Freeze your penis off and blame it on your wife. That's what the fellas are doing up there. They're having a swell time doing that. 27, New Mexico. Uh, Mexico without the cheap drugs. I have no idea what goes on in New Mexico. Do you know that? I have zero clue. Uh, number 26, South Dakota. Uh, they consider a 2001 Malibu to be a classic car and bears eat their faces off. Virginia, um, ironically, no virgins. Uh, Virginia that is 25. No virgins in the state of Virginia. Go there if you want to hit yourself to a whore. Number 24, Massachusetts. Um, if you like doing a British accent but aren't very good at the accent, go there. You'll fit right in. I've always kind of felt like that was ridiculous. That they're just they're doing a British accent, but uh, you know, they've just like put a twang on it. Very unoriginal. Number 23, Wisconsin, um, alcoholism. Uh, number 22, Maryland. If you want to kill yourself but don't have the ambition to do it yourself, go to Baltimore. Just go just go there, walk around. You're dead. Number 21, Delaware. If you're looking for a place where no one will ever visit you, go to Delaware. Like if you're just tired of your, your current friends and family, you know, just turn off your phone, go to Delaware. You'll never, you'll never see them or hear from them. Number 20, North Dakota. Uh, move there to post lands landscape photos to your Snapchat and hope someone sends you a snap back uh, being jealous. Uh, but then you kill yourself when people stop caring about the, the post because it's like, how many times can I say, oh, how beautiful. Oh, my God, look how beautiful it is. You only do it so many times. So that's what I'm saying. Pretty cool for the first month that you live there, probably. I'm sure it's very pretty. And then after that, you kill yourself. Number 19, Washington, the birthplace of George Washington and peanut butter. Number 18, Maine, Canada, but less gay. Uh, number 17, Louisiana, uh, the closest thing to France we have here in America smelly degenerates with weird accents many say aids actually originates in louisiana that's what a lot of people are saying uh mississippi great education system incredibly stupid people i mean there are all of the best teachers from across the globe go to mississippi to try to teach these people 
just normal basic math and grammar and they just can't can't get through to them dumb as rocks number 15 iowa uh, if you like what America was like in 1995, move to Iowa. Legend has it they've they've stopped. They stopped in the year 1995. They don't even do years anymore. They every year is just 1995. Number 14, Illinois. Go to Chicago, shoot someone to get it out of your system, and then leave. They'll blame it on uh, gang members, gang violence. Number 13, California. Great if you're homeless, talentless, or gay. Number 12, Colorado. Go there if you want to brag about how awesome it is, then hide the fact that you're a depressed loser that hasn't accomplished any of your dreams because you smoke weed all the time. Uh, number 11, Ohio. If you like to do heroin, but don't like a bunch of people around you, go to Ohio. Uh, number 10, Pennsylvania. Um, it's like New York, but no o ocean or 9-11. Number nine, Michigan. They've got Detroit, one of man's greatest achievements. Detroit, what a city. Um, the water is second to none, and you'll die at 52 due to natural causes. I mean, 52, 52 is up there for, De for Detroit, I tell you. New York, uh, number eight. Get spit on by a homeless person, get a Coke addiction, eat a slice of pizza, and freeze to death all in one day. That's magical. Number seven, Texas. Huge state with their own culture and way of living. Uh, but side note, the Chinese own way more land here than, than uh, people know. Look it up. The Texans, they'll act like they care about, oh, Texas, we gotta, we gotta keep Texas. We gotta really make sure it's gonna be its own country one day. And they're all selling their land to China. Fucking retards. The whole state retards. Number six, Hawaii. Move there and act like you care about their stupid traditions so you don't feel as bad about colonizing. Number five, Missouri. Buy a chimp, let it eat your face off, then retire to the Ozarks. Number four, Arizona. Get, uh, get skin cancer and then get kidnapped. Pretty good. Number, f number three, Tennessee. Great music, great food, incest, diabetes, and taking 10 minutes to talk to a homeless person before you realize that they actually are homeless because that's kind of the look there. Everybody looks a little homeless. Number two, Alaska. Freeze your ass off, but if you're a convict, go up there, tell them your name's Eddie and you've never done anything bad in your life. I have a feeling that that's what's, uh, that's what's going on in Anchorage. There's a lot of motherfuckers up there with not their right, the right name on their driver's license, if you know what I mean. And drum roll, please. Number one, Florida. Get a sexually transmitted disease, get bitten by a snake, go to Disneyland, and die in a hurricane. That does it for the list. What did you think? Tell me below what state you're from. Uh, until next time, thank you.